And as already relatively sympathetic to libertarian ideas, and we can move there. And so I, I wrote an essay for an online journal called The Libertarian Enterprise in July 2001, and invited people who were interested in the idea to come and join me online, uh, and we would sort of hash out the details. Uh, not everything that I wrote about in that original essay made it into the final idea of the Free State Project. It was really a collaborative effort. We launched uh, a website and a statement of intent in September 2001. You can take a look at the, the statement of intent. This is what people sign when they sign up for the Free State Project. Uh, I hereby state my solemn intent to move to the state of New Hampshire. Once there, I will exert the fullest practical effort toward the creation of a society in which the maximum role of government is the protection of individual rights to life, liberty, and property. So um, what does this statement of intent mean? What is this uh, philosophy where government's limited to protecting individuals' rights to life, liberty, and property? Well, you, you might notice that it sounds a little bit like the formulation from the Declaration of Independence, right? That all men are endowed with uh, rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <coughs> Uh, the formulation life, liberty, and property comes from John Locke, his second treatise of government, which uh, was probably the most influential political text on the uh, American founders. And the basic idea is that we all have rights uh, to ourselves, our lives, our, <clears throat> our liberty, and the things that we own in the external world. And it's wrong for other people to take away those rights. Uh, and that includes government. And so, um, at most, we want government to be limited to protecting those rights and not taking them away. Uh, so you, you might think of this as uh, one libertarian political theorist, maybe the, the most significant uh, political theorist of the 19th century, uh, Herbert Spencer, uh, called it the law of equal freedom.